Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you hear some bubbling in the background and are wondering why I'm wearing this very sexy towel is because I am going to henna my hair today. I have very blonde hair naturally and I use henna to dye it red. But today we're doing something different. I have mixed two colours together from Lush. I've mixed the Kaka Rouge and the Kaka Marron to try and see if I can get a bit of a darker red because I'm sick of it not really taking to my roots. So we're doing that today and I'm going to show you how I do it. got my witch's cauldron going and the henna is melting away. I will get back to you once it's melted and I am in the business of putting it on my head. A few moments later. So this is done now. Looks lovely, doesn't it? So I'm gonna take you into my bathroom and show you how I put this on without destroying everything I own. So, climbed in the bath, socks are coming off. And let's set you up somewhere you can see. It's not a nice process, like it is so messy and so disgusting and you're gonna see that this really does just sort of rain poo when it falls off your hair. So, there is no technique to this in my book, it just gets chucked on. So, we're gonna make a start. So I'm just kind of focusing also on the roots that are visible because those are the bits that never seem to take. And it's already starting to rain. Poop. I like to think that will do. And most of the mess has actually been contained to the bath. I've just taken my gloves off and I'm going to try and reach over to get my shower cap without getting henna all over the place or standing in it. It's got it all over my finger. And you can see this is very, very stained with henna. And I just pop this on my head. Sometimes I put tin foil on, but it didn't bring any into the bathroom. So, just attractively pop this over my head and try and make sure all my hair is covered. So, I've got the shower cap on. I don't care about these bits because if they stain, they come off in a couple of minutes after washing my hair. But are you ready to see the aftermath? It is disgusting. It really does look like poo and it's a bit of a nightmare to get off. So, I'm going to clean it off now and then I've got to wait three, three or so hours before I wash my henna off. So my bath is lovely and clean, but the problem is I've got to do it again in three hours after I rinse it out, which Again, it is another disaster. It is a very messy process, so I think that's one thing you need to be aware of with, aware of with henna is that it takes bloody ages. It takes three, four hours with the process of making it, waiting it to cure, and then obviously washing it out, and the cleaning process too. I'm not naked, I do have a towel on. I'm just about to go and wash the henna off. It's been on for three hours, and I'll update you tomorrow on what it looks like, and if mixing the two colours did work or if I've completely screwed up my hair. We'll find out. Hey guys, so this is how my hair turned out. It is definitely a lot brighter than it normally is and I do prefer the colour so I think I am going to stick to mixing both hennas. I am really, really pleased. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.